What's up YouTube? I'm Alex Carpenter and today we're going to create an overlapping image effect using CSS Grid. Um, diving right into it, we have those two images loaded in our browser here. Um, we just have a, a container to keep this max with the 800 uh, pixels. Um, so let's dive into, let's start with our markup here. I'm going to call this uh, pattern a mosaic. And our mosaic will have items. Mosaic item. We'll move that first image up into this first one and we'll create another mosaic item as well. All right, so now we got our markup set for this mosaic. Let's hop into our styles and start um, using CSS Grid. Um, so we can target the mosaic and do a display grid on that to start. And I know I'm always gonna have only two items in this pattern. Um, so we're going to just use first of type and last of type to target those. Um, so first of type. Um, so what we want to do now is start defining where these items uh, go within our grid. Um, I know I want three columns and I want this first image to span two thirds or two of the columns but offset by one. And how we can do that is go grid column and we want this to start in the second column and then we just want that to span two columns. So you can see that um, we start getting that offset effect here. Um, we'll just copy that and target our last of type. And for this one, we want to start in the first column and span two. Um, so now when I reload the browser, you can see we start to get that overlapping effect. Now we can start um, targeting the rows here. So we can do grid row. And this first one, we want to start in grid row one and we also want that to span two as well. Um, we'll copy that, and this one starts in grid row two and spans two. So now we got this overlapping effect, um, which is close to what we want, but you can see here, if we add some text right below our, our mosaic, you can see we got this little um, space here, and we can uh, actually um, open up our Firefox dev tools and go over to this layout tab, and click overlay grid and this gives us a visual indication of our grid that we we have set up um, which is pretty handy um, but one thing we want to do is remove this space here um, below the second image um, we want our, our our columns to be equal but we want our our rows to be um, not equal I guess um, because this image here at the top is uh, one by one and this one's a four by three um, so we're gonna have different aspect ratios so we don't want our, our rows to be equal heights um, and the way we can uh, fix that is hop back into our styles here and on our uh, mosaic um, declaration here we can do grid template rows and we can just set that to one fr so now when we reload this browser um, we can see that space removed and we see um, our rows are going to be different heights um, comparatively uh, whereas our um, columns are all equal width. Um, so now we could do something where we want to define our margin. We can do a margin bottom of 2 rem to create that space for us. And now we got a uh, fully responsive overlapping image effect um, using CSS Grid. Um, so that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching.